Oh no, I forgot to share sound. Hi, so I recently got a question asking me how I mixed on MuseCore. And um, I just wanted to make this video because it's a really crude and simple way that I did it. And, um, but I think it's pretty effective. But yeah, I am not a mixer. I do not understand mixing at all. I barely know what the buttons do. Um, but here we go. Okay, so all you really need to do is go to MuseHub, go to Effects, and download Pro EQ right here. And then you might need to close uh, MuseCore out and then reopen it so that it adds the plugin. But once you do that, you go to your mixer, which is M, and add it, Muse Effects, Pro EQ to the to your master. You can also add it to different instruments and you can fine tune the way each instrument sounds. But again, this is just for people like me who don't understand the nuances of mixing and just want to make it sound a certain way. So yeah, you just add the Pro EQ and I think it defaults to pop vocals, which is like this. And the first thing I do is I reset it all to zero. So I just double click, double click, double click, double click. And the focuses are controlling how narrow of a range you want to change, but it's it's very hard to tell what it's actually doing because it's just knobs with no information, right? Um, so I just leave them all at the center. Now, personally, again, so this is this mixing technique is very specific to the way I want it to sound. I want MuseCore to sound, and it doesn't necessarily translate over to everyone. I personally think MuseCore sounds too MIDI. Not M-I-D-I, but M-I-D-D-Y. Like there's too many mid range frequencies. So it sounds very muffled. Um, like if you're talking like this, it's very muffled. So I like to take out the mids, but here mids doesn't really translate uh, perfectly. And I'll show you in logic with a better EQ visual, visual. But for now, what I do is basically lower the lows, change this a bit less, this a bit high and this very high. And that will sound something like, like this. Off. Yeah, so you can always fine tune it. So let's go back. No highs, a lot of highs. And you, you'll notice that the more highs you add, the more like uh, hissing you'll get. Let's change the mix. Right, so it's always nice to test out the, the max and the mins to see, and then find the sweet spot for you. Ooh. But yeah, so this is just how I like like to set it. Uh, not too much uh, mid-range. Space is still kept for the most part. Um, and a lot of a lot more highs than what's uh, default in MuseScore. Now you might wonder, well, if you if I still like lows, why did I lower the lows? Well, because the lows also technically controls part of the mid-range, which is why having just four knobs is very limiting. This setting is just how I use default. But say for this, for instance, this song, which is literally just whole notes, uh, sounds kind of sad. And if it's set to like a score, maybe you want it to sound very, with lots of mids or how MuseScore default sounds it because it's supposed to be subtle in the background, mellow. So it's not, this isn't a, a EQ setting that's, that you should just apply always. Uh, it should always depend on the, the mood of the piece and just whatever your tastes are. But anyways, let's move on to what exactly this EQ is doing. So I have exported two, two versions, one with the EQ turned on and one with the EQ turned off, and another one for when we're going to manipulate and mod logic to try and match what the MuseCore EQ is doing. So 
I'm going to turn these sounds off and let's just look at the waveforms. I think they're called waveforms. I don't know. So for the most part, they look very similar. And I've, I boosted it up to 10 because normally it's like this and you wouldn't be able to see anything. Actually, let's boost it up all the way to 15, just so it's better to see. These changes are very subtle because if you do too much, then it's going to sound, you know, like that really muffled or that, that, that really like, it's just going to sound too extreme in one or the other direction. And you don't want that, right? So you want to make very subtle changes. And I'll show you just how moving just slightly could completely change the way it sounds. But for example, I'm going to just quickly raise this and watch how this area goes up. Uh, it might be better if I use a bigger focus. See, and just bringing it down, made it go down like this. So now notice how there's a dip here versus the dip here. So in MuseScore, it sounds to me too much like this, right? And so what I'm doing in Pro EQ is taking this part down a bit. So now you see how it gets wider and narrower. So that's basically the focus knob in the Pro EQ. So I don't know which direction, but one direction makes it more narrow and one direction makes it more wide. What does that do? So let me turn on the dry version. I'm going to make it very narrow. It's going to bring out that certain frequency between 500 and 520. So that means pretty much only one or two pitches are going to be affected. So yeah, so right now it sounds like a very small range of pitches are getting, uh, like when you blow on a bottle and you get that sound, right? So that's not what we want. We want something more wider. But if it's too wide, it's going to affect everything, right? So let's do something like this, right? This is usually a good uh, width. Anyways, uh, so that's what the focus does. So if we go to the logic one now, so let's actually make the changes in the logic one. Right here. So we can leave the lows low, that's fine, because here we have more knobs, right? So I like to start with the mids. And these are very subtle changes again, so it's hard to tell because I'm recording over Zoom. <laughs> and you know, the sound recording isn't or the screen sharing, sound sharing isn't that good on there. So I'll, at the very end, I'll export these and do a comparison between on off and maybe the logic one. But for now, it's just to show you what exactly it is I'm doing. It looks like I already hired the highs for some reason, but basically this is what you would do. And maybe, maybe just a bit here. the lows just a bit because why not right this is basically what the pro eq is doing except in a more visual format i guess 